uh, it's not quite morning. It's I've had a lazy one in the van this morning. Didn't get up until nine o'clock. And the reason being, as you can probably guess by me putting these gloves on, is I'm taking the e-bike for a ride. Now, I'm not doing any photography today. I'm just taking pictures of the bike again. And uh, this is all for Escute because Escute has sent me a new bike. So I'm gonna get this bike off this uh, bike rack, get it down and do some tests on it. Not so much tests on it, just give my thought of what I think about it because uh, I do use the bike quite a lot when I'm doing photography now. And I also know a couple of friends that also use electric bikes for when they're doing photography. I've got Ryan Davis down in South Wales and also uh, Nigel Thomas. They've both got electric bikes and they both use them to get out. And it does them good. They both enjoy it. They both get out and it does help and assist them. So again, I'm taking this one out to give it a bit of a run and get some photographs of it. So come and join me. Let's see what we think of it. Always safety first. Crash helmet. Because as you know, I fell off and broke my finger. So we don't want anything happening to my head. I've just got to strap the GoPro on and uh, we'll be ready to go. Right, so time to attach the battery. Very simple. Ready to go. So you have to bear with me, riding and talking. It's probably not the easiest thing. And it's the first time I've actually taken this bike out properly on the road. So, or should I say, cross country. So I'm yet to see what it's like. Now this bike has got 45 Newton meters of power rather than 30 on the last Voyager. This is the Netibo or Natino. So it should be a little bit better and hopefully a bit more powerful. But we're yet to find that out. But at the moment, it's definitely pulling me up the hill, all right? It's not doing a bad job at all. Maybe the suspension needs tightening up. I might just give it a tweak. It's a bit bouncy. Now these bikes give you a little bit of exercise as well as uh, being able to do the actual job. <coughs> That's the whole idea of having an electric bike. Not to take it all off of you, but to actually help you and assist you. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get up here without the power of this. Yet, I can still feel my legs working. And bearing in mind I've got a go, you know, backpack on, which has added weight and added discomfort when you're riding a bike. <laughs> Ooh. And now I'm out the wind, it's got a bit warm. So I'm gonna head back down this little bit of a slope and um, <clears throat> get back down to the road and then I'm going to ride along the road and um, I'm going to come up the other track where there's a bit of a quarry. So I'm making my way down here and it really is just downhill from here. This bike's got disc brakes, which are pretty good. They seem to be working. I can lock the back brake up, which is quite knowing for that the brakes are actually working. And uh, yeah, it's... It's all right, off-road. It's quite a big frame. I'm not a very tall person, so it's actually quite a big frame, this is. Um, but it works. It's a good bike. Seat's okay, relatively comfy. Um, you can get a, pa a gel pad if you need one. But for simple off-road stuff, it's a cracking little bike. You've got seven Shimano gears, and they seem to work okay. Um, 
I'm quite happy with them. And you've also got five power assist. Now we're waiting for an app to come out at the moment. When the app does come out, you'll see that uh, you can adjust different things. I've got the uh, Home Life app at the moment and I'm connected to the phone through Bluetooth and I can change parameters. I can call my bike a different name. I can put it on to mile an hour, which um, it's not on at the moment. You can't see it, so I need to stop and just turn it on. Let's just have a look because it's been, it's gone into standby. So let's just turn the power on and you might be able to see the power working. I've also got a camera over my shoulder up here and I'm just making sure that it's kind of pointing in the right direction because I don't know whether it is or it isn't. <laughs> so yeah, the power assist is on. Uh, I don't need the power assist obviously going downhill and I tend to ride just off the saddle when I'm going downhill and leaning back on the bike so that all my weight's over the back wheel. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good bit of fun. Um, I know my channel is all about photography, but I actually think having a bike and having a little bit of fun while you're doing your photography isn't a bad thing. So my power assist telling me I'm doing 12 miles an hour on my control panel, which is on the headstock. Oh, and the wind's in my face and it's getting really windy now. Woo, 14 mile an hour. Slow it down a little bit. We don't want to be hitting the road at 15 mile an hour, do we? Oh, and it seems to be soaking up the bumps quite well, which is quite nice. I just enjoy this, it's a bit of fun. A little bit of fun every so often. See we're on the road now, just taking a gentle glide down the hill. You can see the headstock, this is down in front of me. The wind's behind me now. No gears, no pedaling, just a nice gentle way to get down. And the first stop's gonna be the quarry. Come on in. See seven gears, if I wanna go up through the gears, I can pump it up to seven gear, and I can even do a bit of pedaling and get the old speed up. The power assist will only work up to 15 mile an hour and then it won't assist you anymore after that. That's the law in the UK and I think Europe. Bikes now rolling down the hill at 20, 21 miles an hour. 22. When we get to the, get to the path, I'll slow it down. Slow it down, bring my gears back down to normal gears come back down to first, just so I can get up this first little bit of a slope that's gonna be up in front of me. So I'm gonna flip my camera around now so you can see what it is I'm doing. So before I do that, always go back down to a low gear before you stop. Right, let's get down and get off road. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to pedal up this first bit, but I'm certainly gonna give it a go if I can. As long as the car doesn't run me down. <laughs> go on. <laughs> get mowed down by a bike, a car. All right, let's see if I can get up this little bit with this power assist. Nope. Nope, it takes a little bit to kick in and it just wasn't quite enough to get me started. So I'm just gonna wheel it up the first bit and then uh, get going once I get on this slope. Now, what I'm finding with this bike is the power assist kicks in a little bit slow. So I need the app to actually get it to go and to get it to work. This is the part where I need it to pull uphill. So I'm gonna try again, get on a little bit here and see if I can get it to pull uphill and then once I get going, I'm taking my coat off. Oh, I just haven't got enough steam to get it going. Oh, 
Okay, now we're going. And the power assist is kicking in there now. Now it's starting to drag me up the hill. Okay, we're off. Just kicked it into level five, see what that does. Come on. So, first stop the quarry. And I take my coat off. So I've come up onto one of the ridges now, just so I can get some photographs of it with the rocks and stuff like that. But I've got my riding trainers on instead of my walking trainers, and I'm finding it extremely difficult to stand up and walk around because it's so slippery. But I'm going to get a couple of photographs of the bike up here, and then uh, whew, maybe head back down because I don't like walking around up here with these shoes on. It's dangerous. But what have you? What a fantastic view, look at this. This is what we've got to play with. Look at that for a view. Gorgeous, isn't it? And this is what you can do when you've got a bike like this. So I think it's time for me to head back to the van. I think I've got what I came up here to get, a few photographs of the bike, test it out a little bit, see what it's like. And uh, I think now it's time to head on back down and uh, get myself sorted. It's very windy, so you have to bear with the wind. Um, all I wanted to do really was just bring this bike out and give my first impression. My first impression is it seems all right. It seems quite good. Uh, I had the Voyager before that. If you want to watch me out on the Voyager, um, 
I'll put a link up on the screen for you so you can have a look at that. We've also got a Wayfarer that Denise rides and uh, she loves it. But this uh, Natibo is just as good as the other two bikes. And uh, yeah, if you want a, a budget bike to get you out of, off the road a little bit, this is definitely a good start for you. So hopefully I've put some information on the screen because I can't remember everything when I'm riding, I'm trying to concentrate on what we're doing. Let's say the back brake locks up really well. The front brake seems to be working well as well. Gears all seem to be working good. All right. Yeah, the gears seem to work well. You've got your five power outputs. Um, I understand there's an app coming out specifically for the bike. And when it does, I assume that you can control control a little bit more. That's my brakes you can hear as I'm slowing the bike down. <laughs> Squeaking a little bit. But yeah, it's uh, all good. So I'm going to get back down to the road and then uh, get back up to the van, get myself a cup of coffee, head off home, do some packing. You can actually smell the brakes as I'm using them. You can smell the brake pads. All right, let's put my route through here so I don't end up falling off. Sit back over the saddle. Where are we going? We're going down this bit here. Just through there. Keeping that back brake on nice and taut. Now we can go up through the gears. Oh, back on the road and start pedaling. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It's really, really important if you give us that thumbs up. It means a lot to the channel. And I know this is not uh, landscape photography. Morning, all right. I know it's not landscape photography, but it all adds up in the end. Morning. And uh, morning. All the cyclists out doing their bit. Yeah, it all adds up in the end and uh, it makes me having a slightly different channel than everyone else. <sighs> and I do go, I do enjoy getting out on the bike. But I must remember not to wear these trainers ever again because they are lethal. They're only good for riding around the town because you've got no laces on them. <laughs> Ciao for now, see you soon. Any information you want, just drop us a comment.